السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته <coughs> Imagine going to a resort where all the walls are made of glass where you can see the river or the lake just under your floor when you look to the right you can actually see what's in the other rooms you can see everything going on around you wouldn't that be something our prophet sallallahu alaihi said that in paradise there are things that no eyes have ever seen nor ears ever heard and that things in it are beyond our imagination but we all have our own personal ideas of what eternal bliss would be probably like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described paradise in many surahs in Quran and also revealed to our dear prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam many things describing jannah So between Quran and Hadith, we can get a fair glimpse of what awaits those who do good. They will have palaces of emeralds and pearls. They will have palaces of gold and silver. The following are some verses from Quran and Hadith describing in detail the chambers in paradise awaiting the righteous. But those who fear their Lord and keep their duty to him, for them are built lofty rooms, one above another, under which rivers flow. This is the promise of Allah, and Allah does not fail in his promise. Surah Az-Zumar, verse 20. Then there's a hadith by Al-Bukhari and Muslim recorded on the authority of Sahad ibn Sa'd, رضي الله عنه that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the people of paradise will see the chambers in paradise as you see a star in the sky Abu Sa'id then added as you see a glittering star remaining in the eastern horizon and then the western horizon Ahmad and At-Tirmidhi recorded on the authority of Ali رضي الله عنه that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there are chambers in paradise whose outside will be seen from inside and its inside will be seen from its outside one Bedouin Arab stood up and said messenger of Allah who are they for the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded they are for those who speak kindly to others feed the poor, constantly observe voluntary fasting, and perform voluntary night prayers while other people are asleep. And that's the Hajjud. This, there's an ayah also in Surah Al-Ankabut where Allah describes those chambers again. And those who believe in the oneness of Allah and do righteous good deeds to them, We shall surely give lofty dwellings in paradise underneath which rivers flow to live there in forever. Excellent is the reward for those who do righteous deeds. Surah Al-Ankabut, verse 58.